What is up guys, Mike Tremo here. So, and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Most of all, welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough. The playthrough of Baliard, the servant of Baliard to be precise. The Hushishin Dark Mage. And welcome to, uh, Pooh episode. Lost again, but uh, just check the title. Part something, retake the furnace. But uh, let's wait for the loading screen. Get this over with. If I'm correctly, we were already about 25 to 50, well, nearly 50 percent through. The only problem was I had no mana, so I had to buy mana, etc. But uh, we're gonna kill them fucking orcs. It's been a few days since the last played, but uh, you know, everything should work without uh, too much problem. Let's attack. Here we go. Go on ahead. We'll meet at the assembly point. Let's wait a little. I know it's not draw. Uh, ah, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna wait for that bugger. For he has his uh, mood in the mood to walk. I probably already cleared the old furnace. Because uh, if I remember correctly. Like I said, it's been a few days, you know, but uh, if I remember correctly, we were already about, at least about 30% through, I think. So it shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. If I also remember correctly, one of my companions died, but, you know, they're not really that valuable. Even though it's kind of harsh to say, but it's true, you know. And then hopefully, once I have retaken the furnace, Nordmar will be liberated from the orcs, because if not, then I have to search for a few. Which, uh, you know, is quite a bit of work when it comes to uh, searching for all those hunting parties. But if I'm correctly, damn leg, if I'm correctly, this should be the last group.
There's more mobs than I thought. But I should be walking in the right direction. I hope that I am though. Here we are. I'll kill you. Let's make a quick save here. And let the battle continue. Finally. I will crush you like a worm! Look at that guy standing there just chilling, you know, he's like, no problem, he knows I can handle it. <sighs> Could also be that he's stuck, you know. Could be many, many things in Gothic. Oh, you're waiting, eh? Let's attack. Let's go! See, he was just waiting. Stop where you are, Mora. You are no opponent for me. All of them are in uh, waiting mode because of the fact that I TP to wait. Come with me, good. Uh. 
You dare to strike me? You show him. I've still got it. I will crush you like a worm. Still got it. Just make sure you get every, you know, everything. Stop where you are. So that's it for you. Yeah, it certainly is a bit laggy. Don't know why that is, but uh, you know, my PC is not that great. But it does what it has to do which is you know just record not over the top quality but hey who cares besides you know gothic is relatively new especially three when it comes to lagging unless of course you play it on a ssd drive which i do not have and even if i did i would use that to just boost up windows, preferably than a game, you know. Seventeen more strength. Yeah. And I can get myself regeneration. Which is just as terrible as mana regeneration. Very little. But it's free. Yes. <laughs> 
Am I good or am I good? That's where I came from, right? Here. And that's where I have to go. You will die. Why did they come from the back? They come across, kill them all! Nothing to be had there. Well, that were the orcs, relatively quickly though, I must uh, admit. So I was relatively close in beating it before I TP'd away to get myself a lot of mana, which I do not really need, but I did not get Liberate Norma completed. So there are still somewhere some orcs alive, oh dear. Probably under the uh, bridge of the Wolf Clan, as well as under the bridge of uh, the Fire Clan. Probably. Well, not entirely sure, but probably. Getting closer and closer to decide the path of Balear. Now, keep in mind, if you want to see a different playthrough, like, you know, giving or burning basically all the artifacts of Adenos in the furnace that you can find on my channel under the guise of Adenos, you know. If you want to see the ending of the Servant of Enos, then go to my Rebel playthrough, which is the Servant of Enos. And if you're here for Baliar, then well, you're in the right place. All of which is findable on my YouTube channel. I gotta admit, you know, I love my own YouTube channel. So many different paths in so many games and most let's players only do one particular path not me I'm doing them all if it's one it's one if it's two it's two if it's three it's three you know whatever it takes to beat the game 100% on all opt optional options uh, for the sake of my current and my future viewers
Not like that. Hmm. No. I don't think it adds value. So fuck it. I only needed my own blades. Now why do I do all possible paths? Well, in the future I want to do as many things as I possibly can. Re well, beating games on all optional options so that people can choose that, you know, individual choice. Whether it's by build, whether it's by path, or whether it's by choices that you can make in the certain games. You know, I want to make them available for everyone so that people quickly uh, subscribe to my channel. You know, it's that easy and then in the long run I'm gonna also use it to write reviews to write guides to do whatever I can in order to get my videos a, a bit of publicity publicity why so in the end I earn money sadly but true you know, I'm not gonna deny that I'm not doing YouTube for the money. I'm doing it for now for the money because of the fact that I get one like one K from the government and that's not really, you know, sustainable. So yes, in the end I want to make money out of a gameplay like this. Whether it's Gothic, whether it's Risen, whether it's Skyrim, whether it's Fear, whether it's GTA, it makes no difference. The more games I upload, the better. But, I do want to break YouTube open for me, uh, for you, and most certainly for the future gen uh, generation. Because we all understand, you know, that humanity as a whole need way more jobs than those small amount of companies can provide. We need way more opportunities in doing whatever we have to do in order to develop our civilization, you know. It's a work in progress. But once I do make money out of YouTube, whether it's because of Gothic, whether it's because of Skyrim, but in generally, when I earn money on YouTube, I'm gonna create so many jobs of by hiring people to create the timestamps for me. Why? So I can upload more, because I want to upload at least 8 hour worth of content a day, if I would call it a job. Because, you know, I don't see gaming in itself as a job. I don't see gaming in itself as a really, really hard job to do. You know, I don't see gaming that way. Do I want to do it as a living? Yes, but not the playing the games part. And not because I'm unique than any other Let's Play out there. You know, there are many, many channels that basically do, whether it's casual gameplay, whether it's a specific sides or whatever, there are many many channels that do that. I'm no different in any of all those channels. The only thing that I'm doing differently compared to most is a multiple options on one particular game. Some channels do that as well, you know, there are plenty of channels that do that as well. But, to 
boost that and to decline my channel in again a different perspective I add timestamps to my videos which allows you whether they're 30 minutes long whether they're 45 minutes long hour two hours makes no difference those timestamps will allow you to skip to any certain specific moment and find whatever you're finding you know that cost me time that part is currently my job you know not the gaming not the recording of the gameplay but it's actually rewatching it to timestamp it because playing games is easy a lot of people play games but not a lot of people make work from it you know a lot of people play games but they don't record it which is a shame that business with the mine was good work that won't buy me the time of day But once I do make a living out of it, and I'm capable of paying people to make the timestamps for me, to create their own channels, to create intros, outros, um, whether you're a gaming channel, a vlogging channel, a news channel, it makes no difference. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and you gotta do what you wanna do if you're gonna do it right. Because there's nothing more than enjoyable work than doing the thing that you want to do and even if I'm gonna break YouTube open for everyone I earn money and I'm gonna reinvest into other people not everybody can gonna say I'm gonna do YouTube no it's a lot of work and I make a lot of hours for little money currently you know on average a Dutch citizen here in the Netherlands earn about uh, 1500 euros a month for 40 hours week hours you know 1500 euros I currently get 1000 but I don't make 40 hours I may don't make 80 hours I sometimes make to about 100 to 120 hours a week uh, am I saying that right mm, yeah 100 easy you know 100 hours easy but let's say I work 80 to 100. That's still double the amount of hours that I work. Yes, it's my channel. Yes, it's for my YouTube channel. You really can't call gaming work. Unless that's all you do, you know. But at some point, once I do make money. And people will, you know. Make the timestamps for me. That will allow me personally to upload more. To upload more to, you know. I, I don't want to have a YouTube channel that uploads one video a day or two videos a day or three videos a day I want to upload as much as I can because you know why uploading one video a day if you can upload two videos a day or three or four or five I want to do as much as I possibly can but because of the fact I also have to timestamp my video that also consumes time because you have to play the game, rewatch the game, make the timestamps for the game, and ta-da. So it will, at least each episode will only cost me the amount that it takes to record, plus the double, the same amount to, you know, rewatch it and timestamp it to a little more because you do have to pause videos a lot in order to make those timestamps. But I'm happily, happily doing them. Now the first runs of each game will always be done by me, whether I'm big, whether I'm massive, or whether I'm bigger than PewDiePie, the first runs will always be done by myself, preferably. If other people making them, that's fine, but preferably the first ones are done by me, you know. The second and the third are, will be open for people to do them for me like my community like my viewers or whatever to make a quick buck but in order to make that happen I need to make a buck you know and currently you know my channel is uh, 
nearly about uh, let's see it's now the 9th of October 25th October is my deadline basically so at the 25th of October my channel is uh, two years old and if I had the menu main schedule of a two years old channel I would have 765 videos am I saying correctly 765 I think so at any rate 700 something you know let's say 765 videos I currently have about 1080 on my YouTube channel of which of 100 and by the time this will be uploaded it's going to be probably more but um currently i have about 1020 videos public out of the 1080 that i have um i still have quite a few episodes to upload like i still have to finish gothic etc um well gothic 3 um but they will come eventually but currently i am at 1020 let's say which means my channel has more videos than my channel should have which is nice why is this well I don't intro I don't put an outro in my videos I do not I don't do editing nonsense you know I record it upload it and that's it you know hardcore runs will be different but hardcore runs will be live streams and hardcore runs will be upload it in two different methods one with intro and outro and in you know edited pieces as well as a full out intro outro in the live stream before the live stream and after the live stream with the whole content in one because a hardcore run cannot be segmented unless you have the proof of beating it fully twitch doesn't you know keep your videos forever unless you save it on your own channel which I will do with YouTube but I'm currently way 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 before my main schedule YouTube when it comes to uploading one video a day I personally will never call one video uploading a day work unless it requires editing unless it requires an intro an outro then I can understand that it takes a day because especially with people like me who only have one PC it's gonna be very hard to you know record and upload at the same time you can't do that especially if you have a shitty ass PC like I do which is not that shitty could but could certainly be better compared to what most games asked today you know but I'm doing relatively good on the other hand I'm doing relatively bad when it comes to doing the timestamps because they are boring to make and I record so much because of the fact I currently don't have one video a day but three so I ha literally have to record like a madman in order to be able to get my videos uploaded schedule them so that I can get myself some spare time to make the timestamps now even though I upload three videos a day keep in mind that in the last two years I've been inactive for about 14 months in total well let's say 10 to 12 months I think that's fair a bit fairer to say so let's say out of the two years of inactivity I've been an inactive for a whole year and yet I still am way above my 765 videos which means I'm doing a relatively good job are all those videos timestamped no you know no they're not by far not I think only about two three hundred videos that have been timestamped but those, those things don't make themselves but anyways I'm talking way too much again let's talk with this bug over here and uh, go into the next episode basically because you know that's basically what we had to do retake the furnace I heard what you did to free the mine good work will I get anything out of this here we store our gold in this chest help yourself Don't you have anything else to do? At the moment, we're doing all right. You have already helped the clan enough. We are deeply in your debt. All right, so let's quickly talk with the um, Smith, I think it was. Let me quickly.
all we need. But if I ever make money out of this, whether it's 1k, whether it's 2k, whether it's 3k, whether it's 4k, you know, that remains to be seen. It's a lot to ask. Because first I have to reach 1k subscribers and 4,000 hours watched every single year. Um, if I want to get paid at all, you know. But should I ever make money out of this? I'm gonna create jobs in hiring people to make their own channel. I'm gonna, cr you know, create jobs in paying people to make my timestamps so I can upload more. And thus, hire more people to make more timestamps. And I'm gonna you know break youtube open for those that seek it even if it means sacrificing 90 percent of my income whatever it is whether it's 1000 whether it's 2000 whether it's 3000 i don't care 90 percent of my income will be recreated in building a company that will hire people before youtube will pay you because it's about time that we get this open for those that seek it because let me tell you it's no fun job doing this 12 to 16 hours a day sometimes 24 hours a day well then 24 hours to 30 hours and then I get nap you get drift but I work so much right now when it comes to recording uploading not so much in time stamping here and there I do a bit you know but when it comes to time stamping not that much but it's no fun job especially if you're not getting paid because of the fact you're doing this no I'm getting paid because of the fact my parents died because of the fact I was homeless because of the fact you know I was backstabbed by my, my family basically ma majority of my family by throwing on me on the street just n not one week after my mother's death a bit less you know than, than a week so I've been through a lot but yet I'm pushing it like a madman because I know it's gonna require a lot of videos for my channel to boom and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make that happen and once I do get what I want I make sure to break this open whether I earn millions whether I earn thousands it makes no fucking difference I'm gonna make this open by investing manually in other channels by investing manually in people making timestamps for me promoting their own channels whatever for those that are willing to work a lot of hours a lot of stress because it's gonna require a lot of stress what do you want? but I'm gonna make it happen if I'm not gonna make it happen then I die in poverty but so shall it then be because uh, I got a I got a purpose in my head right now, and there's nothing in this world that can stop me, unless you know internet goes bye bye. Then it's basically game over in that regard. But uh, you know, let's just continue because I'm talking once again still too much. <laughs> so uh, let's just. Continue. I am Ingvar, blacksmith and ore smelter. What do you want? Show me how to forge magic ore weapons. You fought well, and you helped our clan. Therefore, I'm going to give you a chance. When you are ready, I will show you how to forge weapons from pure magic ore. Weapons of incredible beauty and power. Weapons that are worthy to be wielded by kings and sovereigns. Teach me your art. Many blacksmiths have come to learn from me. I sent them all away. Why? They weren't good enough. If you want me to teach you, you must go out into the world and gain experience. Forge the various weapons you find all over the world. Only then will you be ready for the next step. Here, once you have learned enough, forge this sword for me. If you do it well, then maybe I will teach you. Alright, so let's check out uh, what sword do I have to make. I don't have the ingredients for that. I need three saber tooth teeth. I sold a whole lot to them. What do you want? I'm not quite sure to whom I sold it to. But I'll find it. But uh, you know, even though I work 12 to 16 hours a day, do you guys see that on YouTube? No. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I cannot upload that much to YouTube. 
because one most likely will drive my current subscribers crazy when it comes to the uploading time and that would mean that I have 0% chance of getting those timestamps done at all without losing you know days of uploading so no you don't guys don't see that that I make 12 to 16 hours a day when it comes to recording timestamping whatever on my YouTube channel but trust me I work that much there are even days where I skip one day sometimes two just to keep on working until I'm really really tired and sleep like a child you know but I make a lot of work into this and it's not easy it's no fun especially due to the fact because of the fact there is no one willing to invest into this which is just such a shame you know give the people the opportunity and enjoy the enrichment that it will create in the long run because if one person will do it voluntarily that person will if that person makes a good investment the person that became big because of someone's investment might invest in someone else that's how we have to do this you know and if I have to be the first that is going to do it then so shall it be but again it's easier said than done you know especially as a channel with uh, currently about 33 34 subs it's not that much you know it's a lot that I'm currently asking for but one day I'm pretty sure about 75% sure that one day I will get the opportunity to reveal that I'm speaking the truth because I need this we need this and most certainly our next generations need this because we cannot overlook the fact that more and more factories go to automatic you know we can't deny the fact that humanity needs more companies humanity needs more jobs more spread of wealth we need more of everything because if we are not happy wars will never have you know will never end poverty will never end conflicts between nations will never end and it's, it's about time that we focus on the things that are just ahead of us which is space you know we have to go to space guys so uh let's start by spreading some love across the globe you know but anyways guys thank you guys for watching i uh, sorry uh, i talk a bit too much just a tiny bit you know just a tiny tiny bit too much but uh, i hope to see you guys next time and uh i hope that one day i get the opportunity to, you know, reveal, you know, to be able to do what I want to do, let me put it that way. Because I know it's a lot that I'm asking for, and I know it's not going to be easy to get there. But whatever it takes, whatever, you know, blockades I would get along the way, I had many already, none of them can destroy or interrupt me from, you know, fulfilling my own purpose what are you doing mort are you, are you still oh go back now you know where to find me sure do uh we're already done sir get away from me go we'll <laughs> Now he's gonna chill at the hunting uh, spot. Good for him. But anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Where we gonna go and find the um, NPCs to which I sold my Sabertooth teeth to. Um, I already have one apparently. But uh, I need about four more. And I'm gonna try to create some Nordmar Noggin Fork so I can create this sword twice. Because I think it's better than mine. Um, although mine does give 15 extra endurance. But I really don't need that anymore. Because the only fact that I needed it was for the quest. The Tunnel Rumbler. Which has been completed a long time ago. But anyways. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Where we're gonna go and search 
for the remaining orc parties and uh, kill them, liberate Nordmar of the you know, threat of the orcs get the quest done when it comes to forging pure magic or weapons not that I will need it, not that I will learn it but I will still do the quest because I like XP, I like, you know, leveling up my character's not done in full build yet by far and once that has been taken care of, once Nordmar has been finished we were going, gonna go to um, the desert once again to complete the trials of Zubin including getting the trial of Zubin itself I thought I did that one but a few episodes back I th noticed that I didn't ask for that one but I will do those as well and then uh, activate the statue of Beliar and thus getting a, ha a whole lot of step closer to beating the game because once I ch activate the shrine of Beliar it's game on the liberations will start and thus beating the game will be done so yeah, thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys next time.